Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Italia Deluxe 12-piece Ultra Fine Lip Liners. And that's what they look like. Oh, gotta get the 12th one in there. Um, I bought these on Amazon and I will be posting a link down in the description box. And I paid $6.82 for 12 lip liners. Good deal, right? Well, that all depends on the quality. How is the quality? These are so similar to MAC lip liners, except for a heck of a lot cheaper. Because if I got 12 liners for $6, then that's 50 cents a liner. But I really, really like these. Um, I think that the formula is maybe just a little bit better than Max. I kid you not. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, today I am wearing the shade Natural, which is number 1033 Natural. I line and filled in my lips, and then I put NYX Creme Brulee Butter Gloss on top. And I love, love, love this combo. And there are 11 other shades. They are borderline creamy. They're not dry, but they're not so creamy that they're going to bleed. They stay in place. They are easy to apply. They This company makes two different sizes. This is the, the full size, but then they also have a travel size that is maybe about that long, that is shorter. There are multiple sellers on Amazon. And something really important that you need to keep in mind is... I ordered this set I ordered because I always read the reviews and all the information that is there um, because I wanted to know what colors were in the set and the colors that I wanted the most was natural the one that I'm wearing and then I really wanted dusty rose and this does not apply quite as bright as it's showing on the cap. By the way, I'm going to insert a picture. Um, you know what? Why don't I just do it right now? I'm going to insert a picture of swatches of all 12 colors so you can see exactly what they look like. And just hit the pause button so that you can look at it, you know, as long as you want to look at it. I'm also going to write in the description box what all the color names and numbers are of this photograph that I took of the swatches that I did on my arm so that you'll know which color corresponds to which liner in the swatch. So let me insert that now. Okay, so those are the 12 shades and like I said, I will list all the names and numbers in the description box so that you'll know which is which. So if you look at those swatches, you may have noticed that there are actually a lot of reds in this set. Um, that's okay. I don't wear red as much in the summer or the spring. That's more To me, that's more of a fall and winter shade. I, I tend to wear it a lot more then, so I will have pretty much every shade of red that I could possibly want because there are definitely a lot of them in this grouping. But the natural one that I have on, I think I will probably get the most use out of. And like I said, Dusty Rose, I, I wanted that one too, and it does not apply. If you look at this one in the swatch and match it up to the, um, you know, what I write in the description box, you'll see that this doesn't apply quite as bright as it shows on the end cap of that. And let's see, mauve was another one that I really, really wanted because I feel like that's just a super practical color that goes with a lot. Toast is nice too. This is like a deep nude shade. Soft pink is a warm pink that does not go on quite as bright as it's showing on the end cap there. And let's see. 
all the rest of them are reds. These are all shades of reds. So yeah, I'm definitely set for red lip liners. I'll never have to buy another red lip liner uh, in the near future. Now, one of the advantages to this type of liner is it is the kind that you sharpen. And what's good about that is it's going to last you a lot longer than a retractable type. The retractable type should be thrown away, believe it or not, once a year. After a year, you should throw those out because there's no way to um, sanitize it because you're just twisting it up and down so the bacteria just stays on it. And every time you use it, you're transferring bacteria from the product onto your lips. This is a much more sanitary type of lip liner. Most makeup artists buy this type because then they can just sharpen it and when you sharpen it, you're scraping away any bacteria that is on the end. So if you are a germaphobic, then you can sharpen your lip liner every time before you use it and it'll always be like a fresh lip liner. That's another thing, when you have a twist up type, um, they have a tendency to get dried out unless the cap is super secure fitting but with this type, if you sharpen it, it's going to be all creamy and fresh and new every time you use it. Um, I don't always resharpen my pencils every time I use them, but I'm just saying you could if you wanted to. So this type of pencil is going to be a lot creamier, and these are creamy. They go on beautifully, and um, I just... I. I'm so impressed with these. I can't believe that it breaks down to like 50 cents a piece. Now, as far as the seller that I bought it from and the listing that I bought it from, the reason why I bought this particular one is number one, it had the colors in it that I was interested in, but also some of the sellers on Amazon are not very clear about what colors you're going to get. I almost got the feeling reading some of the listings that they had a whole bunch of these Italia lip liners and they would just pick 12 random shades and you get what you get and you don't get to choose. So with this one it looked like reading the reviews the people who bought it and reviewed it were getting this same set of 12 so I felt like I knew what I was getting whereas if I bought one of the other listings then who knows what 12 shades I would have got at least I knew I was getting the colors that I wanted now these colors may not be your cup of tea maybe you're somebody that really likes pinks and there's only what one pink in here unless you count the mauve as a pink and then there's two so that's not really a lot of pink liners. I mean, it would have been nice to have like a, a fuchsia or a magenta or something like that to go with the lipsticks that I have that are in that color family. Um, there's also not a ton of nudes in this set. So if you are, if you want like specific shades, like let's say beige, for example, okay, I just bought a beige lip liner, so I'm all set. But if you really, if you don't have a beige lip liner and you really wanted one, let's say, in this formula by this brand, there are listings where you can actually pick the shade that you want, but you're going to pay way more because of it. Uh, whereas I paid six bucks for 12. Um, but if you really want a specific shade and you have to have that color, you could end up paying six dollars just for one which six dollars is really not a lot of money for a lip liner these days especially for a good quality one so it's worth it if you want a color that isn't in this set there are um... let's see there are quite a few colors i would say between the full size ones and then the travel size ones, just looking at this, I would say there are probably around 30 shades to choose from. 
Uh, I would like to have gotten something along the lines of orange too would have been nice because I don't have anything like that in my collection. So I may end up um, getting another set or buying some individual colors because I really like these. I can't, you know, now that I know that there's something like this out there that is that good for that price, I can't justify like spending what are MAC lip liners now? Are they like 20 or they, they may even be upwards of 20 now, but that's too much. That's too much for just one product. It's just, you know, their formula is good too, but I think this is actually a little bit better. Like I said, it's just a tad bit creamier. And if I can find the colors that I want in this brand, I just can't justify spending a lot of money on a Mac one. So, Think that is it you guys if you have any questions let me know um, oh oh I know what I want to tell you just in case you were curious about these eyeshadows that I'm wearing because I always list what I'm wearing in the description box but I used the beauty glazed gorgeous me palette again the one that I reviewed in yesterday's video and these don't have color names or numbers on them so I can't like say which ones I'm using so I'm just going to briefly just show you what I used in case you were curious about this eyeshadow look I have on today. So this is going to end up being my brow bone highlight shade pretty much every time I use this palette just because it's the one that works best with my skin tone and is the lightest. But for the eyeshadows themselves, I used this green shimmery shade up here on my lids and I used this matte green shade in the crease and it probably looks like I have all one color on but I actually don't. I just have the shimmery one in the crease, the matte one, I'm sorry, the shimmery one, slow down Deb, the shimmery one on my lids, the matte one in the crease and then I dragged the matte one down along the lower lash line. So that is that. Okay, thanks for watching you guys and being here and subscribing and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.